Bunch of times we are asking AI to do something with our code, but he doesn't have a clue what are we talking about. So if I ask him here, what technologies am I using? And I copied a simple server action from Next.js. He knows it's TypeScript. He knows that it's some kind of database access library. So this is Drizzle. He doesn't know that this is Next.js. He doesn't know anything else because he doesn't have a context. And that is the moment where this tool comes in handy. It's called git ingest and we can here just copy paste our git repository and it's going to provide us with a context that we can put to any LLM. So I'm going to my Orkish meal planner application and I'm going to copy and paste the GitHub repository URL and I'm going to click ingest. So now that one is being processed and here we get the complete breakdown of our project. So first thing that we get is summary where we have the repo name, how many files have been analyzed and we even have the estimated tokens in order for some LLM to process this entire code base. Then we have the exact directory structure which is really awesome. I would even put this in some readme file. And finally, we get here the files content, which is basically the content of every file in our code base. So here we are getting everything from package to CSS to all the JS, TSX, all the files that are inside the code base. We have them here in just one textual file. And what to do now, we just click download or copy all, what do you prefer? I'm going to press download and that one is downloading the textual file. So here it is, we have the structure, we have everything, the contents and everything. So here you can see that we have the readme file and so basically every file from a code base we have in just one txt file. So now we can get back to our chat GPT and here we can upload from computer this org dev meal planner txt file and we can ask him based on this which technologies am I using in this project and enter so now he has a context here from this txt file and he knows exactly what's going on so he knows it's next.js 15.1.4 he knows the versions he knows the technologies he knows absolutely everything i don't know why am i using react query you have to delete that and this one is really amazing. And ChatGPT here is only used for an example. What I would recommend is to put it as context inside of your cursor AI or GitHub Copilot or whatever you're using to write code. This one really comes in handy if you have some problem, some type error or whatever kind of problem that you can have on your project. This is going to provide context to that AI and he's going to solve everything much, much better. And in the end of this video, I wanted to ask you what do you think about my new design for thumbnails? I'd really like to hear your opinion. So tell me in the comments below.